so in this series in this lecture we are going to study the flexibility basic this is the definitions which are included in that chapter that is called the stretching for impaired mobility so flexibility is basically the ability of a muscle to move smoothly and easily through an unrestricted and pain free uh, range of motion or r1 basically if we say that a muscle a has the ability to move easily without any restriction without any uh, pain so we can say that that is the flexibility of the muscle so um, that flexibility is very from person to person due to if we uh, provide stretching or if we apply stretching exercises to a patient or to a person so they can uh, improve their flexibility so this flexibility is basically determined by muscle length and joint pain How much the muscle is uh, flexible is based on them. Like that, if we say uh, flexibility is basically determined by extensibility of periarticular soft tissues. So, a uh, muscle length and joint integrity uh, is helps to in improve or help to determine flexibility because how much the muscle length is increases the flexibility also increases like that and in extensibility how much the extensibility is of periarticular tissues periarticular tissues are the tissues that uh, surrounds the joint and the, the these are the connective tissue basically or other tissues that surrounds the joint that includes muscles tendons uh, joint capsules etc so if flex extensibility increased so flexibility is also increased so then the two types of flexibility is first is dynamic and uh, which uh, uh, which, uh, which which is also known as active and the passive flexibility so dynamic flexibility is basically this is a form of flexibility that is referred as also referred as active mobility or active rom range of motion so is in this we say that there is a degree of degree to which an active muscle contractions move a body segment through available range of motion of a joint if we say that the a muscle that perform active muscle contraction and through that because of that a body segment is going to be moved through the available r1 of a joint for example if we say that this uh, there is a muscle which is actively perform muscle contraction of finger of this is a muscle of a finger so this if I, this is actively perform the muscle contraction and move the body segments so this is called as active or dynamic flexibility so this is depend on the degree to which a joint move because uh, depend on the degree to which a joint move and they are moved by due to muscle contraction or amount of a tissue resistance resistance which is resistance met during the active movement degree of movement of joint move is depend on how much the muscle uh, contraction is occur and the amount of resistance because in this we actively perform so there is minimum resistance and due to minimum resistance we actively perform the movement and this is like that so dynamic is basically the active mobility or active r1 so passively in this we say that the flexibility uh, is also referred as passive mobility and passive r1 and is the degree to which a muscle can be passively moved through the available r1 and is dependent on the extensibility of muscles and connective tissue that cross and surround the joint so basically we say that they can <coughs> this is actively moved so we can in this we are passively move the joint other is this uh, which a joint can passively move through an available range so we can passively move the joint through any force or through any other uh, external force and we, because of that they are depend on the extensibility of muscles and connective tissues that surrounds the joint because if the extensibility increase so passive flexibility and also increase this is the passive and uh, this is these are the two types of uh, flexibility dynamic and flexible passive so in next part we are going to study uh, we are going to study the contracture and their types thanks
ਥੈਂਕਸ ਫੋਰ ਵਾਚਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਲਾਈਕ ਇਟ ਇਫ ਯੂ